Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials and in this video we are going to talk a little bit about exceptions. So we saw that if we try to execute, um, let me start an application, if we try to find a then value that does not exist it will just return 200. Let me change the the bug to none here. So if we try to find an anime with ID 3 it will uh, return 200 but in our case we would like to return 404 so what can we do for that well we can um, create another method and uh, through the operator switch if empty we can tell that uh, instead of just returning a mono empty we would like to return an exception so in this case, the type of exception that we can return, uh, we could create here a mono that will be mono.error and we can tell that if it's empty, just res uh, return response status exception, HTTP not found with value anime not found. Now. We can build the project and uh, we can come here and as you can see now we have the entire reception so we achieved what we were looking for but not the best way because now the network will return 404 as a status but we are showing the entire stack trace here so this is not ideal for the our front end friends and we have to figure out how to uh, at least make this a little bit better so there is a couple options the first option that we can do and uh, we are going to do this in this video and the next one we are going to improve a little bit is uh, adding the server dot error and then here you can tell not here include stack trace and we can use this on param so what this on param will do we can and if you watched the spring boot essentials we can tell here that we don't have any exception unless uh, exception stack trace unless we add here trace equals true not the tars trace equals true and then we have the entire exception so this is one way of doing, but ideally what we are looking for here is to get that nice response status uh, exception body, the same way we have on Spring uh, Boot. Let's uh, just uh, refactor this one. Let's return this guy. We can create public t mono t. Uh, mono response status exception and we just return this one and here on switch if empty we just call mono response status exception status not found exception okay so in the next video let's see how we can actually create um, a nice response body to be returned in case of exceptions so see you in the next video bye